All right. Now, let's get to the border. Over 200,000 migrants were encountered last month alone. And for the first time, over 2 million migrants were encountered during this fiscal year. Senator Ted Cruz, Republican from the great state of Texas, joins me now. Mr. Senator, 2 million are here. We've got a chronic labor shortage. Why can't we let them work? Well, uh, many of them are seeking jobs. The Biden administration, when they come in, they're releasing them into the country. They're, they're practicing the policy called catch and release, which is when they catch someone, they give them a court date sometime in the future. They ask them, please show up there. And the vast majority of them never show up. And, and the Biden administration is giving them papers that, that, that ostensibly allow them to work. They shouldn't be. It's against federal law for them to be doing so. But, but this isn't it Biden a good administration, idea? Senator, isn't it a, a good idea? I mean, they're here. Is, We're paying, what, 10000 per person per year. Why can't they work? It, 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 work. it, is, a, it is a terrible idea, Stuart, because what is happening at the southern border, and, and I would encourage you, I would encourage everyone to go down and see it firsthand, as I have many times. It, it is a humanitarian disaster. There are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of children who are being physically assaulted and sexually assaulted by human traffickers. There are thousands upon thousands of women who are being violently raped by human traffickers. If you go down to South Texas and you meet with farmers and ranchers, they'll show you picture after picture of dead bodies they find on their property day after day after day where the traffickers abandon people to die. Right now, there are thousands of teenage boys in every city in America working for the drug cartels and criminal activity to pay off the thousands of dollars they owe to get here illegally. Right now, there are thousands of teenage girls working in forced prostitution in cities all over the country to pay off the thousands of dollars that they owe the cartels. This is not humane. It's not compassionate. It's not a response to our needs of unemployment. This is modern-day human slavery. It is horrific, and it is wrong. And, and Joe Biden and the administration, they know and they simply do not care. They are the cause of this misery. There is a, tech, a sheriff in Texas who is demanding a criminal investigation of Governor DeSantis of Florida on the grounds that he misled and mistreated those migrants that he flew up to Cape Cod. What do you make of that? Uh, I think it's really silly. I saw that headline. And, you know, look, we have uh, elected sheriffs in Texas, and so sometimes you see someone who wants to make a, a newspaper headline. But, but let's be clear. There's, there's nothing illegal about f offering to fly people voluntarily in a private jet to a billionaire's playground like Martha, Martha's Vineyard. The reason why it was so important to send illegal immigrants to Martha's Vineyard and to D.C. and to New York and to Chicago is it has illustrated the utter hypocrisy of Democrat politicians. You know, a year ago, I introduced legislation proposing that we send illegal immigrants to Martha's Vineyard. The county executive in Martha's Vineyard responded by laughing and saying, we would welcome them here. We want Martha's Vineyard to be a haven for them. And he went on to say, Cruz doesn't understand. He doesn't know what he's talking about when he says there's a border crisis. Well, you know what, Stuart? Fifty showed up and they immediately declared a crisis. They realized suddenly what the challenge was. Now, they're not wrong about it being a crisis, but the state of Texas, we have dealt with 4.4 million illegal crossings since Joe Biden became president. We are seeing thousands and tens of thousands a day flooding our community, tiny towns. Del Rio, Texas has a population of about 35,000. I was down there when in one day, 15,000 illegal immigrants, most of them from Haiti, were trying to cross in. Half of the population of the city. And yet, these, these left-wing politicians pretended as wonderful. It wasn't until the illegal immigrants interfered with Buffy's tea time that suddenly they noticed and said something. And sadly, for much of the corporate media, they're in the same boat. They ignore it when they're suffering and chaos and death on the Texas border, but when someone disturbs some left-wing billionaire, suddenly it's news. Exasperating, is it not? Senator Cruz, yes. thanks for joining us, sir. Always appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Come sir. Back to you, sir. Check futures, please.